Hey everyone, so today we are going to look at SAD system. Now before we start this video, I just want to ask everyone, please keep your criticism to yourself. I feel so bad I didn't do it with Justin's video because I didn't do that, like start with that warning. My god man, he got so many comments on his sofa. I, I feel bad for, for Justin. Justin, if you're watching, if I ever meet you, I will buy you a big lunch. You know what? I should start a Patreon account just to raise money so that I can buy lunch for people for, for all the trauma I caused them with my YouTube videos. So guys, please, for this video, keep your criticism to yourself. Don't force me to start a Patreon account. All right, so um, the video original was with four system in the interest of time i cut out one system and i'll post that system uh, in the future some somewhere with the other videos okay um also sometime later this week or maybe early this week uh, next week um i'm gonna start a fundraiser to help raise money for the current pandemic so i'm just working out the logistics right now uh, what i will do uh, to thank everyone is that i'll post a video every single day for five days in a row so uh, stay tuned uh, if you don't have the notification bell on uh, on yours for this channel, make sure you click on it. And for those who are not subscribed, subscribe, right? Okay, so let's start today's video. Hey Thomas, how's it going? This is Saad with uh, my video of the systems that I have at home. One, I really appreciate you asking your viewers to do this. And two, I really do enjoy your channel. I love the casual demeanor that you have, and I also actually appreciate the fact that you give all levels of audiophile gear a fair chance uh, to review them, see how they actually perform, and then give them your give your opinion on them. So, something that I really, really, which really draws me to your channel because you have something for everyone in there, uh, from the entry level audiophile stuff to the more high end, from the best value to definitely the more exorbitant high priced gear that you know a lot of us. Uh, lust for lust for anyway we're going to start off with my first system which is in the living room these are the bowers and wilkins 804 diamond speakers they are they're actually running with the rel t5i subwoofers that you see over here um i'll definitely get into more details about everything later but right now it's just kind of a going to give you guys a brief overview of the system setups that i have uh before i get into the whys and how they perform the speakers are sitting on the iso acoustics aperta 200 uh, isolation stands which actually you know i never believed in, the, in these things but they actually made a huge difference um, and then the, i did the same thing for the subs i put them on little dome um soft rubber isolation feet. you know before i put these feet on which is actually just a few days ago and I'm kind of glad I waited to make this video before before I put the feet on there. Um, since we're on the second floor, the hardwood floor, hardwood floors would pick up a lot of the bass energy, and you would feel the bass a lot of the bass in your feet as well. But once I put these feet on there, a lot of that floor energy got removed, and you actually feel more of the bass in your chest. Um, it's funny because a lot of my friends who come over, they, they think this is actually a microphone sitting on top of the speaker and a lot of times they want to try to pick it up but they haven't touched it because i always yell at them don't touch don't touch but they always ask me is that a microphone and i jokingly tell them yeah you know actually i can i, I make i can take phone calls over these speakers and i just have to talk to them and, and i get to talk to all my friends so and they're always amazed like wow is that the new stuff coming out now are these are these the new speakers a new wave of speakers i'm like yeah dude uh it's all about bluetooth and wireless calling and hands-free this and that so i always like to have fun with them uh on these uh, these tweeters these speakers are set up and uh, running with uh, this is the parasound p6 preamplifier um uh, definitely one of my favorites i think as, as far as value con as concerned and also the sound it's hooked up to a rotel rb1582 mk2 power amplifier which powers uh 200 watts at 8 ohms for two chan uh, per channel um i one of the reasons I picked the Parasound is just it has a plethora of features. You know, you got tone controls. I am definitely not anti-tone. I don't mind tuning the sound just a little bit as long as it's within uh, certain degrees. Um, especially because the Bowers are very critical, uh, critically revealing speakers. 
Uh, bad recordings will definitely come out really bad, and good recordings will come out amazingly, amazingly sound, nice sounding. But because there's some recordings that are sometimes bad, or they can be a little bit lean or trebly and low in the bass, you can always tweak the settings a little bit uh, to make them more um, uh, listenable. But there is a tone control option here, which is also on the remote. If you want to turn off the tone, the the tones, you just have to press the tone off button right here and you turn it off I don't know why it's not coming in focus but here it is so once you have the tone off you can turn off all the tones uh, the tone controls to the preamp and let it just run a pure signal but if you if you come into a bad recording you can just turn it on and it kind of makes a sound a bit more easier to listen to so this is in the living room we're now going to walk over to the bedroom where we have the Martin Logan Motion 40 speakers hooked up to a P3 Deco 125. Um, if you are easily triggered by bad, bad placement of speakers, I would say avert your eyes right now, listen to the listen to my voice, and once I leave the bedroom, I will let you know. But it is definitely not for those who cringe at bad setups and can be easily triggered by it. And believe me, I am well aware uh, of that. So let's make our way to the bedroom now. Um, this is actually my wife's setup. These Martin Logan Motion 40s are what I used to have in the living room before I got my Bowers. Um, I love the Ribbon Tweeter, a very smooth, warm, mellow sounding uh, speaker over here. And the reason we have the P3 Deco because it is super easy to use. Uh, I think my wife loves music as well, just as much as I do. But for her, she kind of gets uh, annoyed by turn, using all these different remotes to power everything on, then selecting the right input. Uh, with this, it's just very simple. You And she, she streams a lot on what, Spotify because of uh, most of the Bollywood music that uh, is out there is found on Spotify. So she has to turn it on, select Peace Tree on her phone as the source, and that's it. It turns on automatically um, when it detects a signal and you can control the volume and everything through everything through your phone so that's very easy but this is her this is hers i don't touch it i do not take ownership over streaming any 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 time so this is solely hers and yeah uh, i had to raise it up i had to make a custom uh stand sort of for it raised it eight inches because the bed is pretty high so in order for the mid-range and tweeter to be above or at around our ear levels, I had to raise the speakers up a little bit. But they still sound fine. Maybe a little less on the low end, the bass isn't that great, and you don't get the soundstage and imaging that you normally would in a more ideal setup, but you know, it doesn't matter. This is not meant to be a critical listening uh, setup. I was thinking of getting bookshelves and subs, but since I already had the towers, I had these, I'm like, well, it makes no sense to like get rid of these. I really love them. I'm a huge fan of them. I've had them for years and I didn't want, did not want to get rid of them. So I moved them to the bedroom, found them a new place in the house. Let's go downstairs now to the other setup, the third setup that we're gonna have, uh, that I have, which is mostly for movies and also music, but yeah, this is the living room setup. Um, and that's the main spot right there in the middle. That is the spot I use when I really want to sit down at night. At nighttime is usually when I really listen to these speakers. So that's when I'll sit down and listen to them. And then the kitchen's right there too. So it's great because if I'm working in the kitchen, making something, doing whatever, then these speakers are facing in that direction as well. So it works out real nicely. Let's head on downstairs. Now this system is actually, I would say if I had to choose my favorite, and I'll tell you why, it will be the system right here. These are the Polk Audio LSIM 707s. Actually, the entire setup here is of the LSIM speakers, plus the, the subs are Martin Logan, Depth I, which I'll talk about in a second as well, but dollar for dollar, and in terms of performance, in terms of friendliness with different components, and just, they, I think these work so well on so many different levels that they may not be the master of any one particular area when it comes to sound, but they definitely, I think, are uh, like super strong contenders and performers just all around. I mean, great finish, beautiful looking speaker, um, great sound. They're not overly critical. 
So bad recordings are still listenable through these speakers. Tons of bass, good soundstage, good imaging, very clean, warm. So I can't really say, and especially at the price that I got them at through the Adorama deal. Adorama is running a bundle for these towers. Uh, the center channel that we just saw over there, the 706C. And two bookshelves that I have here. Uh, plus that Yamaha Aventage 3070 receiver. So these are running with this 3070 receiver. I do have a five channel Rotel amplifier that is sitting in the box. I didn't have, I don't have space for that back here right now. It's really messy. A lot of wires. This is, this is basically no limits area. Nobody goes here because this is all my gaming systems. A ton of wires running back here. The gaming PC. And then this is the Rotel RMB 1585 um, five channel amp at 200 watts a channel. This is the previous Harman Kardon receiver that I used to use in the living room upstairs with the Martin Logans. But once I got the Bowers, I needed something that was better matched for those speakers. Even though I've used, I've used this amplifier for eight years, uh, this one was a little bit on the brighter side and a little bit leaner for those for those speakers. Uh, with the, I use this with the Martin Logans, and it, I think it was a great pairing. Uh, it was a beautiful pairing. But with those speakers, I needed, I think Rotel did a really good job of bringing some of that warmth and some of that oomph and drive. And those are hard to drive as well. So the Bowers do demand more current. They are more demanding of power. And that's why I, I use the Rotel. But here's the thing with these pokes. They are not critical of the component you put behind them. You know, this I think they sound gr great with almost any amplifier or preamp, power amp, but you're going to hook up to them. Like they, I, didn't, I can't knock them because they don't really change. I don't feel like they change too much of a sound character or signature. They just work well. And these are my favorite subs uh, to date. I have not, I mean, especially now you can find them you in the used market for five, six, seven hundred dollars, eight, nine hundred dollars, nine hundred on the top end, depending on the condition. But the prices would vary anywhere around seven to eight hundred. And dollar for dollar, these will go toe to toe with subs doubled almost two and a half times the price. So these originally retail for $2,200 a piece. And they go, I mean, they're specced to go at 20 hertz with three eight inch drivers. But I mean, I've never really measured how low, how low they go, but I do know this much. They're supremely musical, very tight, very quick. And they, can create a ton of pressure in the room. Like, I mean, I, I watched Deepwater Horizon with my friends and there was a time, there was a scene where the room pressurized so much that the vocals are coming out. Is this, is you're talking through a fan. Like if you're talking through a fan and the vocals kind of uh, took on that form of voice, uh, that sound, and I had to turn the bass down, the tone them down from the controls um, up here. Actually, Here's another thing about these subs that I love: tons and tons of control to to tweak and uh, you know configure them for your room. Like it's it's just this is one of the subs. This is one of the most this is one of the most complete subs that I've ever owned in my life. And uh, I'm actually getting another one, so the third one will be coming through soon because I want to move a uh, put a black one there, and I'll move this in my office with the Bowers that I have. Speaking of, oh yeah, there's an Atmos set up here too. Before I, for before I forgot, so they have two ceiling speakers. Um, it's a nine channel. I didn't go for the 11 just because I felt like the rear speakers are so close that having rear overheads, I think they'll kind of get lost a little bit with the rears right back there. It's a small room. Um, you know, my wife was generous enough. She really wanted to make this into a second living room, kind of like a more homely, very homely, but she understood that I really love my movies. I love that home theater. And um, sometimes, you know, at nighttime when I can't really rock out to music upstairs, I rock out down here because this uh, the sound doesn't really go to the bedroom so i can still play movies and music pretty loud pretty loud here at night and she doesn't get disturbed uh upstairs in uh, in the bedroom otherwise the speakers upstairs yeah the, that sound carries through uh but these do not and i still honestly if there are tracks that i can't play upstairs or genres of music that don't work well with bowers these just do a fantastic job so i'm extremely happy with them definitely not get never gonna get rid of these you know post questions my youtube name is cyber athlete post any questions about my reasonings what i'll do is i'll write up my reasonings for each setup and how it is and why it is and i'll ask thomas to post it in the if not in the description as, as a comment um by me i'll email him and yeah and if you have any questions outside of that you know feel free to ask uh and i'll be happy to share them with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's got it's a little long 
and it took me many many takes to get this right because i wanted to make one seamless video um but yeah so here's a view of the gaming room and uh yeah send me your questions thomas thanks again i really appreciate it i look forward to this and uh on your channel and uh yeah we'll see you guys then bye mm -hmm.